This section introduces the GPS Seahorse Kentickys, which was launched in September 2011 and revolutionised Kentucky fishing worldwide. The GPS Seahorse is available in either the lighter 30-pound option or the more powerful 46-pound thrust motor. The GPS Seahorse 30 is the lighter of the two GPS models and is great for the calmer East Coast conditions, and the more powerful GPS Seahorse 46 is great everywhere, including the rougher conditions on the West Coast and the South Island. The GPS Seahorse 46 is our most popular model by far. The GPS Autopilot system uses both a GPS and an electronic compass to control the system, and a servo to operate the rudder. The Autopilot system sets a waypoint 3 kilometres out to sea, and this becomes the target the Kontiki will steer towards. This unique technology has been created and developed by Seahorse to make this course setting as easy as possible. The GPS Kontikis are the same size as the standard Kontikis, being 1.35 metres in length and weighs 19.5 kgs for the 46-pound thrust motor and 17.5 kgs for the 30-pound thrust motor. The body is nice and streamlined without any fins or bumps which would create additional drag and reduce the performance. The body has been designed to accommodate the additional electronics and has a bigger hatch to allow easier access to the batteries in the Kentucky. At the front or bow, we find the hydrodynamic shaped rudder allowing maximum turning power with minimum drag. The rudder is controlled by a servo and adjusts itself automatically, keeping the Kentucky on course. Seahorse uses the very reliable Mercury Outboard's electric motors. The wide motor with the three-blade prop is the 46-pound thrust motor, and the black motor with the two-blade prop is the 30-pound thrust motor. The solid aluminium motor frame protects the prop and motor. This allows for shallow water knee-deep launching, so you don't get too wet. The GPS Seahorse has the bright orange flag near the bow of the Kentucky, and it gives visibility during the day, but you'll need to use binoculars to see it on the longer sets. The long streamlined handle is great for carrying the GPS Seahorse. The strobe light is light or night activated. It will only turn on once it's dark enough. It takes a normal D-cell battery. Unscrew the bulb, insert the battery and screw the bulb back on nice and tight. If not on correctly, water will get in and damage the strobe light, causing it to fail. On the starboard, or right hand side of the Kentucky unit, just down from the strobe light is the Kentucky serial number. Please complete your warranty card with the serial number and send it to Seahorse for registration. The autopilot and speed controller fill the area from behind the strobe light back towards the hatch. Just behind the strobe light is where you set and clear the course for the autopilot. Nearer the hatch is the speed control unit and this will show you whether or not your batteries are charged. It allows you to set your run time and for the 46 pound thrust seahorse it allows you to select either fast or slow speed. The control unit also has built-in stall protection, so if something gets caught in the prop and stalls the motor, the control unit will stop and start the motor three times to try and free the obstruction and continue fishing. If not cleared, the motor is stopped after the third attempt. Also, the control unit and autopilot are fully encased in resin to protect it from the elements and any water that may get into the Kentucky unit. Also, the wiring to the motor goes into a waterproof air bladder, protecting the motor and separating it from the outside environment. The servo and other internal components are also protected from the elements. To remove the hatch, you need to unscrew the hatch screw a reasonable way out and slide the hatch forward, lift the back and remove the hatch. Inside, you will find two batteries. The aft battery is the larger 14 amp hours battery and the forward battery is a smaller 8 amp hours battery. For the GPS Seahorse, the small battery goes in first, followed by the larger battery. The Seahorse 30 can operate with two small batteries if weight is an issue. The GPS Seahorse 46 can operate with two larger 14 amp hours batteries. 
your runtime will increase to 28 minutes and nearly 2 kilometers of distance. Insert the batteries, connect the two leads, either lead onto either battery, to run the 46 pound thrust motor for approximately 22 minutes and the 30 pounder for about 30 minutes. Both Contikis will travel up to 1800 meters offshore in that time. If you are using one of our lithium batteries in the GPS Seahorse, you will need to set the course and activate the autopilot before inserting and connecting the lithium battery. The procedure will be outlined in the next chapter. To fit the hatch, ensure the spider is sufficiently unscrewed to allow the single arm of the spider to slip forward above the battery. Ensure no leads or wires get caught between the spider and the contiki body. When far enough forward, lower the back of the hatch and slide back into place. Check to see the hatch is centered onto the hatch seal all the way around. And then do the hatch screw up nice and tight. Try and leave the tab in a fore and aft position so the tab won't act as a rudder. Finally, at the back, there is the aluminium tow point. That is offset to the left to counter the torque of the motor. This is where you clip the carabiner onto the Contiki. This is the most important thing to do before launching. Check out the GPS Autopilot chapter to see how to set the course with the Autopilot and the Speed Controller chapter to see how to set the runtime and start the Contiki motor.